What's up, y'all? Tyrone Grizz here. It's Friday, so you know what that means. Welcome to Grizzy's Bakery. Patty cake, patty cake. I'm the baker's man. I bake them cakes as fast as I can. We've all been at Red Lobster and we enjoy the cheddar biscuits. Well, today, I'm going to show you how to make your own cheddar biscuits. Make sure you wash your hands before you start this. Two cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, two ounces of butter, half teaspoon of salt, and a third cup of milk. Now it's time for the cheese. Take the flour, put it in your bowl. Now then you pour your dry stick in here. That means your flour, your baking powder, and your salt. So you mix it up a little bit. We're going to take out two ounces of butter, then we're gonna put it in the flour, rub the butter in the flour to make sure that it all gets, you know, equally, equally yellow. When you do it right, it should be all yellow. You want it to be crummy like cornmeal. You want to get this as non-white as possible. Now what you do, you make a well in your flour, then you pour your two-thirds cup of milk inside of it then you go around the edges and bring it to the middle now it's time for the cheese put that in there just cut that up just mix it in with the dough just wanted to get familiar with it then you pour in the rest of your milk you stir it up so once we get all the milk familiar with each other, it should all come together like this. Sink. So you lay your flour on the table, you know, like this. Put a little bit more. We don't want the dough to stick to the table. Or we don't want the dough to stick it to our hands. So you know, like put our hands in it, like that. Then we're gonna take it off the bowl. Right there, on the, right there on the flour. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to take some more flour. We want it to be a little bit dry so we can cut it. Oh. Put it in there. Oh, there you go. It's looking good right now. Looking good. So then we're going to like knead the dough. Alright, so we good with this. So now what we're going to do we're going to take a little piece off, roll it into a ball, put them on a the tray. Dad, put it in the ball. Your boy Grizzly got OCD, so I need to do rolls and columns and stuff like that. Nicole, how many do you think I can make out of this? Three. Let's see if Nicole's right. Alright, so... What we got? Four, one, two, three, four, five, six times four. We got 24. Put it in the oven for about, I'm going to say, 15 minutes on 350. Put them in the oven, check them out later. All right, I'm going to take these up right now. All right. Okay, all right, just the bottom of these. Oh, not, they're not burnt. All right, all right, all right. Butter, garlic powder, and oregano. And I melted it to create this, you know, this liquid. So I'm taking a brush, taking a brush and just, you know, dabbing it on top of the biscuits to give it that red lobster taste, that red lobster feel. Nicole, can you try that last biscuit right there? I mean, all right, now try it. biscuit. Now I'm gonna let you try it with the sauce on. Huh? Yeah, I can try with the soup. No, I brought some better biscuit. No, go ahead, take one. I'm on a grill show. Yeah. I want, I want one. I'm on mother grill show sample. Me too. Good ass biscuit. Oh, you gotta try one there. I wish I had some chicken to go with this biscuit. Nice. 
Oh. They're good. They just melting in your mouth. She just hungry. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, everybody love the biscuits. Let me taste one now. Yo, it's good. All right, y'all. That's your red after cheddar biscuits. I'm Tyrone Grizz. It's been Grizz Tastic.